So, for example, if you look at the way that most companies structure um, knowledge management at the moment, it's very good at dealing with documents. So when something is solidified into a Word document or an Excel file or a PowerPoint deck or whatever, then they know how to store that, they know where to put it, they know how to categorise it, how to organise it and so on. But the majority of knowledge creation takes place in the informal realm. You know, it's, it's conversations, it's water cooler moments, it's you know, meetings, it's, it's events and so on. And at the moment, the only technology that supports that is email. And so at the moment, the, the majority of knowledge sharing is taking place in email, which is not what email was designed for. So if you can take that away from email and you can you know, make it more public and you can have it on wikis, you can have it on social networks internally, you can have it on kind of uh, bookmarking systems internally, then you start to open it, open it up in the way that Wikipedia has opened up data externally or the way that Delicious has opened up link sharing externally. If you look at certain sectors, you'll find all the leading companies in a given sector replicate exactly the same research work. You know, so the same costs are being borne by, let's say, all 10 of the top companies in that sector, and it's adding no value. And if they were to just share it you know, in a kind of, some kind of shared um, environment or public realm, then they could all reduce their costs substantially, but they'd have to be uh, you know, ready for the fact that you know, they're all using the same information. So it, it, you need to overcome this paranoia of ownership. Um, in, in that scenario. But we are, you know, those are two examples where I think you know, processes are changing and companies are changing. But more generally within companies, we're seeing lots and lots of adoption of wikis and blogs and social networking and social bookmarking as simply more effective ways of doing what they already do. So it's not changing their, you know, their business model, it's not changing what they do, it's just doing it more efficiently and it's doing it with greater emphasis on value creation through you know, shared, um, shared content and so on. Where you've got practical challenges like how do you fund the NHS, you know, like how do you organise um, you know, representative democracy, how do you have referenda, um, you know, how do you organise the workings of the Foreign Office and how do you organise the workings of the Treasury. You know, these are practical problems that you can just start to address with some of these new tools and techniques and cultures in a way that perhaps you know, reduces their cost and perhaps makes it easier for government to, to operate. So I think you've got to start with the small things and then see where you go from there. You know, learn as you go along really, which is the, one of the main lessons of this whole field. You know, it's all about experimentation, it's about not being afraid to fail, and it's about this kind of Cambrian explosion of ideas that's taking place out there on the net. You know, most of which will not um, succeed over the long term, but they will all contribute to changing our culture and, and letting us learn what works and what doesn't work.